Hi y'all, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My name is Michelle and my sister Cheryl, we welcome you to our channel. We're so glad to have you. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do. Today I'm gonna to actually do some undecorating. Uh, usually you see me decorating for all the seasons or holidays, but today I thought I would just share with you how I undecorate my home. And I'm doing that just so I can get my home ready, give it a refresh for this upcoming spring season. I don't know about y'all, but I'm so ready for that. It actually snowed here last night. I'm, this is on a Monday and it snowed Sunday night. It was so beautiful, but today the sun is shining and it's all starting to melt away. So I just thought it'd be a perfect time to just go ahead and share this with you. And hopefully that will inspire you and get you ready for this upcoming spring season. So let's get started and let me share with you what I'm gonna do in my home. So let's get started. This is just a little preview, some pictures of my Valentine decor. Now I've actually taken all that down and I did that over the weekend. And so today I wanna to share with you what my home looks like now, because I still have up some Christmas trees, a lot of evergreen, and you know, I love it. And I just love that green being added to your home. But I think it's time to put away the Christmas trees and all the evergreen and let's get our home ready for spring. So that's my goal and that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna kind of move things around. We're gonna kind of redecorate. I'm not gonna actually decorate for spring in this video, but I'm getting my home ready to do so. So let's take down this winter decor. Friends, I apologize. I know I was moving awfully fast. I normally don't do this, but I guess I was trying to quickly show you what my home looked like. I didn't want to spend just a lot of time um, showing you everything in detail, but I did go a little too fast. So please forgive me. I hope it doesn't make you guys dizzy and I promise I will work on that for next time. I won't do anything like this. So I just want to apologize for just how quickly I was moving the camera around. So here's just a little peek out my window. You can tell that it has snowed on my front porch and so it's just so fun to see that snow. But here I've taken down that Christmas tree, evergreen tree, and I brought in this candle arbor that I have had for years. And it just works right here. I just feel like I need something tall, and so I think this is the ticket. And so I'm just gonna add in these candles, and they're super old. I need to probably find some more to replace it with, maybe some battery-operated ones. Um, but I'm just using what I have. I'm not buying anything new. I'm just gonna use what I have to get my home ready for spring decorating. So right over here, this is the shelf as you walk into the door. And so I'm gonna take down those two little evergreen trees. I'm gonna take down the snowflake. And then I wanna show you right here. Now I replaced this book. And friends, this is just a word of caution. Um, I picked up a book and I just loved it. It was old, it was small, it was, I just thought it was so beautiful. And I didn't really look at the content. And I had a subscriber mention to me that it wasn't a book that was honoring the Lord. And, you know, we, we're Christian here. We love the Lord. And so immediately when she said that, I got the book out and looked at it. And it was more of a scientific book. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go into all the details. But I did do a lot of research on it. And I did see that, in fact, it wasn't a book that was honoring our Lord and Savior. So just be careful when you buy old books. Make sure you look at them because really and truly, I just look at the cover, I read the name, and if it's what I like, I'm just, I, I, I bring it into my home. But that's just a word of caution and I'm so thankful to that sweet subscriber that pointed that out to me because, you know, I never want to bring dishonor to our Lord. So anyway, I switched that out, but I'm going to leave my little wedding couple there. I just think that's precious and I'm going to leave it right there. 
As you can see, I've just moved some of these little purses around. I kind of like that it's right there by the door. And then, you know, friends, this is the key to my front door. If you don't know, I've, I have a very small home. It's over 100 years old. And this was the key to my front door when I purchased it. So, you know, it's fun to have and display. But I don't want to really bring in a lot of greenery. So I have this basket and I have these strings on there because that's how I hung it. And so I'm not, I don't want to take that off, but I don't think it's going to show when I, when I stick it up here on the shelf, but I'm going to add it up here and I just, I want little pops of green. I don't want to bring in a lot of floral or greenery. So I'm trying to keep it very minimal, which is very hard because I feel like my home needs a little bit of green. So I'm going to just add that simple fern wreath in that basket and that's it. Now over here, I'm going to remove the greenery. This is where I keep my clock that's next to my TV but this brass, this is actually a brass frame, and I think it would be pretty if I printed a picture and put in there, but so far, I've just been using it as a tray, but I just thought it would bring in some of this copper, brassy color up here on top, and just to change things up a little bit, I'm just gonna add it up here, and to that, I'm gonna add these sweet little clocks that I have. I wish I had more. I'm always on the hunt for old clocks, um, so if that's something that you, look for at the thrift store or what I'm trying to say is if you are wanting a collection that's fun always be keeping your eyes out at the thrift store for stuff like this because I got both of mine there and I just think they're perfect to just to, to add in I wish I just had a few more I think it would really complete the look but so far like I said I'm just using what I have now moving over here to these books these are red and I had that in here for Valentine's Day but I think I'm going to take that off and just use some of the older books right here that I have Okay, I think that looks so much better. Now I'm gonna move over to this side and I have these three red books here. So let's take that down. And you know, as much as I've enjoyed displaying my old vintage rhinestone jewelry, I'm gonna remove that as well. Um, I don't think it's gonna fit in with my spring decorating. So let's remove these, but they sure were fun to look at and enjoy while I had them out. So I'm going to bring in a candle and put over here, and this is one of my favorites from Hobby Lobby, Maple and Cream Latte. Oh, it smells divine. So let's just add this over here to this little ironstone dish filled with buttons, and then I'm just going to sprinkle some of those um, little buttons around, and then I'm going to add a few other details. So this is my TV stand, little table, and you can see I have my family pictures below, and then in this little um, cabinet, I have a lot of evergreen. So I've removed all of that, and it looks so bare. But I know that I need to do this, so or I want to do this, just to give my home a fresh, clean fill. So this is what I've got going so far, and let's just add a few things in here just to warm it up a bit. my clock to sit on something I just think it adds another little bit of interest so I'm gonna use this heart dough bowl and I'm gonna position it so it, it doesn't really portray a heart but I don't think there's anything wrong with that I just think that's something you can use in your decor all year long but I'm just gonna set it to the side 
but I just think it needs some interest. So I'm gonna see what I can find to add to that. And I think I came up with the perfect thing. I've got these old time books where people would write down the time and different things like that that they would spend on different things. So I'm gonna display those in this little dobo with my clock and I like this look, but then I thought I'm gonna open it up and display what's inside. I just love that. So that is the way that's gonna look right there. Now moving over here to my coffee table, which is just an antique trunk. Again, I'm trying to remove all of this evergreen. So let's move this out and let's change things up. So this is the mirror that was on my dining room table and I'm gonna set it over here just to change things up. I'm really wanting things to look different. And so let's just add in the same sweet little dishes that I had before and I just, I love this. I'm not tired of it, so I wanna keep using it for a little bit longer. So to complete this look over here, I just have a couple of old books that I've opened up. I have a Bible, which I love to display, little Bibles, old Bibles. They're my favorite thing to collect. I'm gonna put that right there, just uh, another sweet little number. So this was over on my coffee table. I've moved it over here to this entry table and I'm gonna put this glass dish right here. And this is a card that my sister Tammy wrote to my mom and dad. And, and I just love being able to look at that. I'm very sentimental if you guys didn't know that already. Um, so I love just displaying things that have a lot of meaning. I'm gonna add this wreath to the bottom because I think I just need a little more greenery over here. Okay, so this is in my dining room, this little corner little table so this is what it looks like now and here's what it looks like after the refresh so I've just kept all of my white dishes right here I took away the red little uh, container that I had a lot of things in and I'm just gonna display some of my white pottery took away the pine cones I did put this tree over here this is that one of those Norfolk pine evergreen trees with the real touch and there it's in a crock and I need that I have a plug-in right there and I just need that covered up so I'm gonna leave that that's really the only evergreen piece I'm gonna leave and it's that and I'm gonna put it right there but I just thought this was a fun way to display my dishes over here I'm moving over to my china cabinet this is what it's looking like right now which I'm not gonna change very much over here I'm just gonna take down a few little elements and tweak it just a bit So now let's move this evergreen tree and take it out. That's what it looks like now. And I'm gonna take, this is a big, um, I don't know what this is, a type of a topiary that I got at Hobby Lobby, oh, I don't know, in the summer. And I just love it. And I think that's the perfect spot. I usually keep a big fern displayed right there, but I just think it's too early for my fern, so that's gonna work perfect. Now I'm gonna just remove this evergreen over here and then we're gonna move over to the Hoosier. This is what my Hoosier looks like since I've taken down all the Valentine. And I like this, but I'm just gonna add a couple of, actually just one piece of pottery over here and, and that's it. I think everything else is pretty much gonna stay the same.
I've really loved this buffet decorated this way, but sadly I think it's time for the paper tree with all the jewelry to go and these mercury glass trees that I have as well. So let's take that down and restyle this. Another arrangement that I've really enjoyed is all this evergreen and this beautiful crock. So I'm going to take this down as well and I thrifted the most gorgeous basket. It had handles that were made out of rope that somebody just made so I took that off and I'm just going to use this on my table. I think it is such a pretty uh, addition. It is a change. I usually have that big oval mirror right here but I'm really loving this texture and I am just loving how this is looking so far but i do think it needs a little bit of greenery and as hard as i was trying not to add greenery in my home just i thought this asparagus fern was the perfect touch it looks kind of like it's a transitional evergreen and so i think it'll be fine placed on my table so i just love that crock but friends this is my refreshed look um the transition getting ready to go into spring i think it's clean it's simple and I'm just so happy that I finally was able to pack away all the extra evergreen that I had. So now my home is ready to start bringing out all the spring decor. I'm not sure when I'm going to start, but I know that I'm very ready. You guys will have to tell me if you're as ready as I am. So friends, I know that my home is really small, but I so love to decorate it. Um, I am looking to replace my two fans. I've got one in the living room and one in the dining room. And I do use them all the time in the summer, but I would really like to replace them. So that's going to be something that I hope to be able to accomplish sometime this year. And I am excited to see what I can find that will really complement my home. But guys, thank you for being here. You guys are such a blessing to our lives. We can't thank you enough for watching to the end. It really does help our channel to grow. And we are just so thankful for each and every one of you and for your friendship. Uh, we are just so honored to have some of the sweetest friends here on our channel. Friends, thank you again for being here. And before I go, I just want to leave you with this beautiful Bible verse. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Friends, as you open yourself to the fullness of God's love and these character qualities, I know that they will flow from your life.
So I pray that you will receive the Savior's love with a sincere, open, and humble heart. Because God loves you. And friends, we love you too. Happy Valentine's Day, friends. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, friends.